want to take the I don't want to take the fender off. I don't want to disturb this. If I can stay in there changing things while this holds my door. against the fan so somebody can't come in the door right here and go oh wow nice door and they slam it up against they slam it up against your nice paint on your box because that's pretty decent paint still man and then stick it against the hoses there it can't be damaged then you know watch out for the mirror It's made for uh, tubing, so you're trying not to strip out a, a tubing fitting, so they make crow's foot in tubing wrenches that you can snap onto your ratchet. You got to kind of play with it, unlock your lock, move the ratchet, move the tool around a little bit. And if it's not real rusty and nasty bad, cross-threaded or something like that, this should work. It worked for me uh, on that lower one down there. 
the upper one, I was able to go in there with a short sock, but that the way that that fender curves in there, it won't let you get in there with a socket. So think about it. If it works for you, it works for you. Okay, I'm gonna show you the difference in tools and why people think we're crazy as mechanics because we keep buying tools and many of them are duplicates of something else that we have but ah they aren't all duplicate duplicate means exactly the same they might look exactly the same but they might function completely different each one of these swivels that i've had over the years and i've worn them out has behaved differently this one i can't read the name on it anymore but anyway if you look at this in here you can't get it on the bolt with the drive being exterior of the body, right? And if you put it inside, you still can't get it all the way on. Well, you can, but what are you going to do with it? You can't, you can't get a ratchet on there. And you can't put an extension on it so you can put a ratchet on there. I mean... And you can't get it outside the body, you know, so there you are. Uh, and you can't really get a ratchet in there and move it very much, you know, so what do you do? Okay, so you go to your toolbox and you got all these different tools. Now here's the old school ones, all right, but it's new. It came in a Williams kit. These Williams tools... They've been around a long time. I've got some old Williams sockets over in the that toolbox, and I'm sure there's some at the other shop too. But anyway, uh, this salesman guy calls me up one time and sends me some of these tools, and I didn't have to pay for them for like 389 days or some crazy thing. But I, I paid him. As soon as I looked at him, he said they're snap-on knockoffs. Don't know. I know they, I've used them for quite a few years now and they're good tools. Anyways, if you slip this one in there, it goes right on and now you can kink this thing around and down if you want to and it's outboard and you can get an extension on it and run it. It'll, it'll be slow and you might have to fiddle with it a little bit, but you don't round off your bolt either. I already got the bolt loose now, so, you know, we need to run that one out. We've about got this upper hinge. When I do that, see that other, that other bolt back in there? Yeah, that one right there. Yeah, that's the back end of it. On the inside of my, fortunately I've got my dash and my AC vent out already, so I should be able to just do it through that vent hole. Uh, that is the only one that's like that. So, there's our broken spring deal for our detents on our door, you know, so it just doesn't move wherever it feels like moving. Anyway, I'm going to get that bolt out of there and then we're going to do what I do this other one with the rubber plug in it and back in the pocket and I'll flip the camera on and see if we can get a shot of that. Now, before I knock that thing out of there all together, but see that plug back there with the two wires? The two wires are for the dome light switch that's in the door here. Now, remember, I do not have electric windows, door locks, or none of that crap in my door. There's just doors. Anyway, he can reach in there and pull that plug out like that. And I don't think there's any way for me to get this camera in there, but inside that pocket back in there behind this plug now is a bolt, the bolt on this side of the hinge, okay? If you put a six inch extension on it, your socket now is back in here, right? See how it goes? You can see it through the gap. The, the extension goes through here to that bolt in the back side of the hinge. Put your handle out here 
if you got your vent out, you can do that. Uh, I don't think it'd take too much to get the vent out of it, but you know that's up to you whether you want to do it or not. Uh, then you don't have your hand down in that mess. That's just my way of thinking, but that's what this is one way to do it. You know, you do it how it works for you. But uh, now we can get that other bolt out of there. We got the lower hinge off already. I made a mark for the, you know, where the old ones were at. Not that that's going to do us much good, but it'll give us some place to start, and hopefully it's close. Here's where one of those wobbly sockets, the round ones, you know, where it really shines. It's back in a hole like that. I put the little 3-inch extension on there to get through the wall to the bolt, and then put the extension on it. I already got it broke loose, you know, so uh, then I put my 6 inch to get out away from the dash so I can turn on it. I just want to spin it now. So that's another way of doing that part once you get it, once you get it broke loose. So you the pointy part of the bolt sticking out there. Here's a little, a little tip. Pro tip, if you want to call it pro tip today. Anyway, I don't want to pull that bolt out of that little pocket that's in the back there. You know, a guy could spend three days trying to get that bolt stuck back through the hole in this wall. You know, what if you drop it down in there? You know, I don't want to try and figure out how to get a magnet down there to get that bolt out. So let's do this. Let's make sure that one of these bolts, that, you know, one of its partners will thread in there. And it threads in really easy, real easy. Okay, so what we'll do, we don't need that bolt because we want that bolt. Okay, that's the one that goes in there. Leave it in there, hold it in with the ratchet and the extension, okay? Then, uh, throw a little squirt of oil on there. I like this chain and cable lube for door work and stuff. It's light, it doesn't get gummy, you know, it doesn't get gummy. It, uh, it's just a good all around oil. Uh, it's not a dirty oil either. Anyways, let's do this thing. Okay, now set this thing, set this hinge close by so you can just leave the bolt in there and uh, it's wanting to bind in that hinge so. Hopefully, it'll get to the taper and it'll come out. Okay, here we go. Now hold in on your ratchet just a little bit. Okay, don't pull that bolt out of that hole. It's got a nice little coating of oil on it right there. It's ready to go. This hinge isn't no good. Just drop it on the floor, get rid of it. While you got two hands free, flip your ratchet back so it's on tighten. You know, double check it. Yep, it's on tighten. It's going to tighten for you. You can even reach up there and wipe that off a little bit. Take a little bit of that oil, put it back in there. We're good to go, okay? Now, Slip your hinge up there and start to thread that bolt in that hole. Without taking the bolt out. See, and here it comes. Nothing to it, guys. Think it through just a little bit and you'll do the same thing or something very similar to that. All right, I got some hinges to put on here. The rest is just putting bolts back in and playing around with our little 
fancy tools. You can get a set of these things at any of them. You know, Harbor Freight, man. Uh, these came from, you know, the blue and white guys, but or the blue and yellow guys. I, I don't... Anyway, uh, they aren't very expensive. But you can get a, you know, a starter set of these things. You know, three eighths through half or something like that if you want to for probably 20 bucks, 30 bucks, something like that. It's not going to be an arm and a leg down there. Anyway, got to get this door back on, get it adjusted best I can, put my new striker on. Oh, I didn't forget you guys, man. I just got in the zone and I was checking everything out so I understood what, you know, and. I was just kind of checking the truck out, you know. We got a galvanized hinge up there, which is pretty cool. New spring. I mean, they come complete. I could have rebuilt them. They had kits for, man, like under 10 bucks or some crazy thing. But then I looked at brand new hinges and they're only like 25 or 30 bucks or something like that. And I was like, man, you know, Dad used to fiddle around. He did several sets of these, he redid the pins and stuff. And you know what? I've got the set that just came off of this truck hanging on the wall up there. If somebody wants to rebuild them, they can. But I'm not going to rebuild them until I think that I'm really going to need them. Be able to push it a little bit here and there. I think it'll work. Let's take a look at this in where the bolt holes are at. I think I want to shoot a little oil in those bolt holes. Yeah. Yeah, take a look at that. Yeah, let's shoot a little oil in there, huh? 